Assalamu alaikum. This is your computer science teacher, Sir Farwad Akhtar Today we are about to start a new topic, trend line in coding. So basically what is it? It can be used for lossless compression of a number of different platforms. It is a lossless compression in which we do not, leave, uh, we do not uh, lose our quality of file. We just need to reduce the file size. So what are the key points that it is a form of lossless or reversible file compression. It means that we can compress this file without losing the quality and we can reverse the file. It means once we can compress the file, on the other hand, we can uncompress the same file. Next key point, it reduces the size of a string of adjacent identical data. It means whatever the data is being repeated, it does not uh, you know count it so we will discuss this later in the detail next third key point is repeating a string is encoded into two values so how does it uh, encode the values like first value presents number of identical data what are the identical characters like if there are number of A's and number of B's and number of C's so these are called the identical data second key point is the second second key point is the it represents the query data item like let's suppose a what is the denari value in ascii code of a such as the lower case starts with the 97 and what is the code of lower case b in ascii table or in s code in denari form so it is 98 in the same way if i talk about the upper case a so what is the denari value in the ascii code of the upper case a is 65 so it uh, detects the uh, ASCII code value in the denari form of each character. Next, it is only effective where there is a long run of repeated units. It means if there is a uh, if, if there are, if there is a data in a huge volume, then it is applicable. So let's suppose let's discuss using the table or scenario. So it says okay, consider this table. So in this table, what do you see that there are lower case a one two three four and one upper case a so what is the majority the majority is of lower case a so it counts lower case a that there are five a's including one upper case a and the denari value of the ascii code is 97 in the same way in this case there are four letter four characters and these four characters are lower case b and the denari uh, value of the ASCII code is 90. Same with the C and the D. So it says, uh, what if, if the situation happens like if you have got this situation, CD, then CD, then CD, or AF, 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 or any random character like uh, GH, GH, GH. So what would happen that it arises a flag? What is a flag? Basic flag uh, plays the value which is 255 because in ASCII table we see that there are 255 values, supported values. So it plays 255 with the character. How it can do it? We use to see the example of it. Now, first row shows that it is a string, second row it says that it's a coded data, means it has been compressed using RLE uh, compression algorithm. So a string. Uh, a that there are eight A's and the denari value of ASCII code is 97. There are 10 B's, 10 characters, and what are these characters? Uh, in the denari value, it represents 98. Now, next is a C, only one single value. C, one value, and it presents 99. D, it again pr uh, presents one, and the value is denari value of ASCII code is 100. And so so it says that it contains 32 characters and it occupies 32 bytes. If it has 36 characters, then it occupies 36 bytes. If it occupies 64 characters, then it occupies 64 bytes. So when you reduce it using the RLE compression algorithm, it uh, contains the value 18, and of course the byte would be reduced around 53%. Like if you calculate the 32. 53% of 32, I think it's 18 bytes. So it's an approximate value. That's it.
Now, how does the flag work in this scenario? Like, you see that there are 255 values in the ST code, and uh, we have got 8 A's and denari value of ST code is 95. Then we have got 255 ST code, and then there we have found N characters, and these characters uh, represents B, and the denari code of the ST code is 95. Alright, here it is C, B, C, B, C, B, so it does not apply flag over here. And in this in this scenario, it applies the flag. So it is clear that if it get a similar data type, so it says a flag. Now next thing is the black and white image compression. So you see the grid which contains eight horizontal uh, boxes uh, and uh, eight uh, vertical boxes. So it is 8 by 8 2064 bytes of box. So how does it generate any character? Let's suppose this is a character S and it converts into the binary. After the converting of binary, it compresses using the RNG format. So how does it do it? Okay, uh, it sounds like that. So you convert into the binary. So we start from the right to left position. So it counts from right to left and then it counts this one as well so it contains nine white color then it counts black so there are six black color then it counts one one is here and the other one is here so there are two white color in the same way one black is here so we have got one black now it continues counting number of ones and it also counts this so there are about this says about seven black then it says here one black, so it is one black. Then one, two, three, and so on. So it counts seven white. So this is how it works the counting. So they say that W presents white one and the black represents zero. So instead of W and B, we place one and zero. Here we find W, we place one, and here we find B, we place zero with the digit. So nine with the one means nine white colors. 6 with a 0 means 6 black color, 2 with the 1 means 2 white color, 7 0 with the 1 means 0, so it means that 1 black color, and so on. This is how it works. Now let's get back to the top. Okay, it says 64 bytes, it, it has a capacity of 64 bytes data, but after the conversion of binary, uh, it compressed into the uh, RLE format, so it contains 30 values, it means it has got 30 bytes, so almost approximately half. Okay, now it's the same thing happened with the color scheme, like if we count from right to, to left, so it counts two black colors, okay, here, two black colors, then four green, then three black colors, then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six white colors, then one black, uh, and then two green, and so on. If you follow the same scheme, you will understand that how does it do. So it says that uh, it has got three bytes, eight by eight squares. It has got three bytes, but it has got three colors: red, green, and blue, which is called RGB. So RGB has three colors. So eight multiplied by eight is the grid, and the three is the RGB color. Which means we have the capacity of 192 bytes. But after compression with the RLE, we have got 92 values. It means we have got 92 bytes. So the box which has the capacity to store the data uh, of 192 bytes, it only has the value of 92 bytes. Interesting, right? So this is how it works. I hope you understood, but if you do not understand, you may ask the question in the comment or you may whatsapp me question directly i will surely reply you whenever i get to